I decided to uh, install a G5RV using a fishing uh, pole. I uh, haven't got any HF antennas and uh, decided to uh, to make one for the back garden. I used some um, uh, bracketry there from uh, B&Q, just normal um, drain pipe clips with some rubber on the inside to pinch the um, pinch the, the pole and keep it nice and secure. Um, I fixed the uh, the head of the G5RV, uh, the feeder, to uh, a, bit, a little wooden block made out of a couple of children's uh, block um, play blocks and drilled a hole in the back and stuck it on the top. Uh, there we go, and this is how it got on. I thought today would be a good day to put my G5RV antenna up. I've pulled the coax through at the top there, through the loft. Excuse the mess, it's going to run down there, down the garden. We've measured the fence. The garden is just over 60 foot long, so we can fit in a trimmed down full size one. And uh, here we are, some uh, drain pipe, get the sun on it, some drain pipe holders, plastic, four of them. Now, they might not seem very strong to most folks, but uh, through the back of the fence, I'm also going to put a strap around the top and the bottom, so in case they do break, uh, it will catch it and it won't fall over to the neighbour's garden. So we're going up to the... So we're going to run an inverted V, G5 RV, all the way down here. We've got a 10 meter pole, fishing pole, and we should tie it off with the insulators, top and bottom. Right, let's crack on. Try and do this one handed, impossible. Wait a sec. Need a head, I need a. Uh, I need a, uh, a head camera, don't I? So we can hold this. Oh, it's only me screwing some in anyway. Right, I'm just making off the connections to the top of the uh, the um, the G5 RV. As you can see, we've got. Um, I made a little block, wooden block, um, to connect up just to sit on top of the roach pole. A 15 mil hole in there, nice snug fit. Some duct tape on the outside so it's fairly waterproof and uh, we'll just bind the terminals to this and uh, go and take it outside and present it to the uh, antenna. I've got to wire up the plug first and wire up the plug in here so we'll crack on but we're not too far away from being able to try it. Just installing the uh, pole as you can see I've got my little clips down here so we can actually take this off quickly if I need to. It just pushes around, can't really do it one handed but Push that round and then it clips in further down to the bottom. One uh, G5 RV. The only thing I don't really like is these nuts on here. They're very the, the threads aren't very long and they're an M7. It's really hard to get your to get a nut runner on there. I had to use a spanner. And you're gonna get movement as this moves, it's gonna move that nut. So I'll have to see how that uh, fares really. I mean, even a bit, I think it would even shift it if it was Loctited on, but we'll perhaps stick a bit of Loctite on there anyway and uh, see, how it, see how it gets on. And there it is, on the fence. Let's try getting it up in the air. Got it up, there it goes. <clears throat> you can't really see the wire, maybe you can. Down there. It's just round the drain pipe at the minute and tied off over there, just as a temporary test. Um, no wind at the minute, so it's not moving around too much at all. <coughs> so, there we go. There's the uh, connection, choke. All the way up the top there, and all the way down into the fence at the moment I haven't cut it for any length we've just tied it off tied it off over there so I'll go and give it a try yeah that's interesting I'm just well, looking at the ALC on this radio I haven't tuned it or anything but uh, I'm not using the tuner at the minute but um, you can see it uh, is working I think I've got a lot of local noise we'll have to do something about, but um, I need to have a little play with it, but um, 
Yeah. yeah. We shall have a play and do a bit more video in later and sort of uh, sussed it out. Uh, well, it's uh, it's been a very good little antenna. I've had it installed for a couple of weeks now, and I've had some good QSOs on it, as you can see there. I've got down into Italy and Russia uh, on 20 meters. Uh, it tunes pretty well um, on 1480. Obviously, it won't make top band. Um, got the LDG uh, tuner there, uh, which uh, the a the AT200 uh, Pro which uh, brings it in okay, and uh, I found uh, I've had some pretty good signal reports from the antenna, so I'm, I'm very pleased um, with it. Uh, some people don't get on with G5 RVs, uh, but I think it's just how you set them up. Um, I'm going to run a long wire and, uh, alongside this on the other side of the garden just to uh, compare how the two, uh, the two um, antennas work together. Um, but uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the G5 RV, uh, to be honest. It's a very low-cost antenna. I could have made this one myself, uh, but uh, it was off the shelf. It wasn't too bad from Moonraker Electronics over here in the UK, and uh, they also uh, stock uh, other uh, antenna accessories should you wish to uh, buy them. But uh, I'm having to go at making the long wire myself. I should probably do another video on that sometime shortly. Uh, but, yeah, if you just want to get yourself up on HF and you don't want to spend a huge amount of money uh, and you want to get pretty good uh, results, then uh, I don't think you can go far wrong with a G5 RV.